Hey guys, it's Ren here. Today we have another How to Age Up Your Dragon video, part two. Yeah, that's right, part two. So if you haven't seen my first video and you're still wondering, how do I age up my dragon? I'd say go do that video first and then come watch this one. But uh, you can still just watch this one as well. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not telling you to watch that one. But anyway, so here we have our level three dragon, Dancer Knight. So, come here, Dancer Knight, so everyone can see you. Yes, hello. Hello. As you can see, she is level 3, and I'm trying to... Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to age her up so that... I can ride her, I guess? I don't really know why. I guess I'm just spending, like, some time here. Anyway, we go into this lab. So this is the first method that I would like to call learning science. Because you basically do alchemy, ca uh, uh, whatever it's called, a whole bunch. And um, once you're done, then your dragon has a lot of XP. It can get a bit annoying, but I mean, it's worth it. Oh, skip. So in Alchemy Adventure, if you haven't already played, you have to match these things together. And then it gives you points. And then down on the side column here, it shows you the recipes and all that. So it's basically like learning the elements. Um, some people think it's really annoying. I think it's fun at first, and then gets a bit annoying. But I'll just make a cutscene here for those of you that don't want to watch. As you guys can see, Dancer Moon, I mean, sorry, Dancer Knight is now level four. So that's good. It only took me two rounds to get her there. And she is almost able to mount now, which is good. Um, sorry, just let me adjust the camera there. <clears throat> so, we can move on to the next method. So, here at the training grounds, this method requires lots and lots of patience. And, here's why. So, there's a thing that probably all of you know about, unless you don't have Skull Dragons, that is called a battle event. Now, Battle events only happen every two hours, so if you want to catch one, you're going to have to wait a very long time. I don't know when the last one was, but anyway, basically what you do is first you need a host dragon, so I'm going to switch to a dragon that can fly. Let's see, which one should I choose? There's all of these. Uh, I think I'll go to Sky. So now that I have a dragon that can fly, level 11 Sky. I can just mount him, and basically you can go anywhere, but my favorite spot to wait is right over here on this island, um, and now you land, and you wait until there's a battle event, and when there is, say, du -du -du -du. Dun, 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 dun. There's a battle event right now. So boom, you get on your dragon, you fly, you go down, it's coming, and you go down, and then you shoot it, and you keep shooting it, you keep shooting it, oh there it is, you shoot some more, you shoot some more, and then you fly back up to your spot, wherever you are, you land, and you switch back to, oh, where, what? Where is, there it is. So you back to, in my case, Dancer Knight, or whatever yours is going to be. And then, you just, yeah. And then you just wait until the battle event is over. And then, it'll be like, victory! And then, um, it'll give you like 200 XP, it's a really good amount. And I don't know if I should just wait and actually show you when there is a battle event. I don't know. Um... I think I might, I don't really want to though, because I don't know if it could be like a long time that I have to wait. If you guys get the concept of that, then I'm just going to move on to the next method. Well guys, the battle event has yet to come. I did kind of demonstrate what it's like, uh, but I'm going to have to end the video there. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.